Hey, you hear about Wilson? Big Marauder's got him. Just between us? Oh, jeez. Oh, Lost my. Nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the salt in her. You moron. Yeah, you moron. Moron. Let's see. Taste of freedom. Salt tuna. Oh boy, oh my. They don't have very many propaganda signs. They're limited. That's the cannery. Did I already look at this one? I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Now we just gotta go around the other side. I'm in feeling pretty You shouldn't say that out loud. Nothing I can do about that. That's the cantina again. Barb, whoa, okay, I got turned around. Wait, no. Hello. I've oh, got some time. Okay, what does that mean? What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs <gasps> to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice I'm Department of Human Resources. cannot keep track of anybody because I'm just the worst. I'm actually the worst. <laughs> there are fries. That's so funny. Speak and you shall appear. Welcome. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, okay. Bye. Bye, I guess. Oh wait, what? What? Oh my god! Oh, don't tell! Don't don't say that because now I'm gonna think I'm saying it wrong. It's frog greater. Ah, ah. You worry about this hyper game? Well, the 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 emotes aren't like like super great. Like they're okay, but they're not like I'm not like whoa! I gotta do anything for these emotes, you know. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. Then work hard. T. Oh, church. Church, 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 church. Yo, what up? It's a, is it a science church? It's got a small helix up there. Yo, can I take your stuff? I can. Wow, what a nice church. That's a skull. It's like a, like a skull mold, maybe, if we're lucky. Is it? Is that what it is? <laughs> Hello, Assassin. It's a cool game. Not sure why you lost interest in it, Frog Raider. Yeah, I don't... I think, um... I mean, I don't know how facetious Nuclear was being, but he did say it's a lot of talking and not a ton of action. So maybe that's kind of, like, you can kind of lose interest in it. I like to have a nice balance. Yo, can I read your stuff? No? Okay. Yes, what is it? No, oh, jeez. Outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Hey, he's uh he sounds like he's actually like he's aware of things. We are being spoiler free. It's spoiler free. I guess if if you notice though, Stone Smith, that he, that um that I'm going to miss somebody, let me know. Um, but I am doing it blind. But the best 85% of the game is dialogue. Uh, how did you know I'm an outsider? <laughs> I've never seen you before. 
And there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed <laughs> frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Okay, I will I will let people help with followers. I'll, like, I, I keep looking at named people and eyeing them and wondering, uh, am I right in guessing that the three people on the wanted posters are potential companions? <laughs> and I'm not an ass. Uh, you seem quite dismissive of the common man for a spiritual leader. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town hey i don't know if they're marauders i i mean they they, they were people who ran off maybe they're not marauders now Let, let's say <laughs> and besides maybe there's a good marauder who isn't a cannibal yet unless i have a can am i gonna have a cannibal friend because i don't know if i can handle that that's something i don't know if i can handle isn't it your job to raise that yes but there are few who hear me in this miserable What place. do you believe in? I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Didn't you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more. And I will continue on I my quest I instinctively don't so. trust this man, though. A vicar is not a nice word to me. <laughs> What sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. I was actually asking what your religion's all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that ah, grand plan. Ah, the Grand Architect. Uh, what does OSI stand for? The oh my gosh, they worship science! science. Also known as scientists. They, they're Scientologists! This guy is a potential one? Okay, he, I don't trust him, but I had an inkling. I'm not gonna lie, Nuclear. I really, like, I'm not even making it up. I actually did, because he's the only one that's shown any amount of self-awareness so far in this game. <laughs> So, so I was like, hmm, okay, a ship should have a, have a priest or something, however you want to, I don't actually know what the difference between a vicar and a priest is. Is there a difference? I never thought about it. Anyway, if we're going to be like Firefly, we need a religious person on board. Um, OSI, scientism, not very religious sounding, you sure you didn't just make all this up? Mock me all you want. I know my beliefs to be true. How do you talk to the Grand Architect? Prayer, meditation, what? You don't talk to the no! Grand Architect. Once the That's universe right. is set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Ooh, that does not, yeah, that doesn't sound very nice. Uh, this doesn't sound like a very motivational religious philosophy. What's there to aspire to? We will eventually decode, decode the it. plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, ah, we will know determinism. Everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need mm, question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential. And we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves. I feel like we're combining fact. several different religions in the real world as well as science. Uh, I think, I th <laughs> Frog Raider, you're right. I think there's like only like a soup, there might be like very basic romance, but there might not be any romance at all, which is kind of a bummer, honestly. The religion in this game is literally physics. That makes sense. That That's kind of what it sounds like. But it also is like, it's like a determinism, like philosophical thing. There's romance, just not ours. No! How does that work? Tell me more. Oh, that's, that's uh, yeah, tell me, tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites. I almost believed you. 
I I'm almost kidding, believed you. I'm kidding. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. <laughs> I'm looking for a power regulator. I just thought of something else I need to be doing. Just a moment. If you're going to be walking around outside, make sure you're well prepared. Unless you don't care for your life. I've been in a, I've been outside. I'm not impressed, and I can handle myself better than a vicar. No, okay, I'll say why is that? One of the reasons <gasps> I transferred here was to fulfill my nope. duty in hunting down. We're not friends anymore. Texts. Oh! I happen to know such a book is oh, as we me. speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted hey, uh, by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. <gasps> Thank you so much, Frog Raider, for the friggin' like 500 bits. Thank you so much. That's really nice. <laughs> And thank you for the emo. I don't I'm gonna have to fix my uh my my notifications. I think something's wrong with them. Uh well something is definitely wrong with them. It's not just I think. There definitely is something wrong. <laughs> um Why uh, what, uh hmm. I assume you wanna burn it once you get your hands on it. What? No, oh, okay, we can be I friends. Don't wanna burn it? I would never I mean I just want to uh, look, we can I have be a friends. Very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public. If you were going to be book Bernie, I was going to leave you behind in this rotting chapel forever. Uh, I need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree to it. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic Ooh. of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's it's place a real in the book. cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Sure. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. All right, you don't seem too bad, guy. We need it. We need if we're gonna if we're gonna do Firefly. Resident. Hey there, Mary. Don't see it's you so dark. too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar. Is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, uh... are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. You're, you're trying to get me. people in trouble. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Yeah, it's hard to get out of these pews. They always are seeking to trip you up. In fact, a fireflyish crew is pretty possible. That's because I got to get an engineer and I got to get a companion. And I gotta get a, a religious guy, and I gotta get um, a, a, a pilot, and I gotta get a, a second in command, uh, who's a bad A warrior, and then I gotta get um, a psycho, and a doctor. Excellent. Okay, that's my checklist. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. And she's amazing and you love her? Okay. We'll get an engineer here. Alright, this is the cannery. I'll go in the front door because I don't have I'm, um, nothing to fear. There you go, Frog Raider! You're not romancing anyone as you are staying true to your love, my ship. Yep. Our ship is very interesting looking, too. Is this a computer? Uh, schedule your sick leave. Be considerate. Allow two to four weeks to process and improve your scheduled sick leave. Lost hours must be compensated to the company. 
Work invigorates the spirit. If you find you're falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with your local vicar. Okay. Am I- there's like nobody here? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna walk in. I'm just gonna walk on in. No big deal. Everything's fine. Nobody's in here. Vending machine. What is this, Bioshock? Uh, a, a hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Ha ha ha. Okay. It's Bioshock! It's Bioshock! Oh, go. Uh, yo, this is the guy that's gonna get me my, um, my piece, my parts from my ship. Oh, dang. The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. Engineer! Technical. Engineer! Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? Nope! I'm just standing here, don't worry about it! Focus, Miss Holcomb, you and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me He's an it's idiot, I can tell. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with, well, not fish. Can I come in now? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken Oh my up. gosh! I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh, what? Are, are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Hi. Uh, what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker. Uh huh. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had I'm a wearing nice clothes. Through. I'm purposefully wearing these nice clothes so that maybe he'll think better of me. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got. Hi! The town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. That sounds fishy. Let me guess. You want me to do something for you before you help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, mostly. so all that mostly. power is being squandered. Go down to There's the probably people living plant. there. Reroute power from the botanical district oh, no. over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator. Oh no! He wants me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? I'm so. Okay, this game has like. Sometimes it's so frustrating in games like this where you don't actually get to ask the questions that you want to ask. So far, this game's done a pretty good job. Oh, when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. 
Uh, I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame these workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by coming <laughs> out of power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I assume... I assume that when I get there, I'll maybe be able to come up with a better way of doing it. You know what I mean? They'll be like, oh wait, or, or they'll tell me to get the one that's in Edgewater. But that's still like, that's a really hard decision because there are people living here and people living there. You know, like I don't want anybody to like be upset -y, spaghetti. Oh, man, oh, how will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Decisions? Oh no, it's a game of decisions. Oh. Uh, you're asking me to cut off power in an entire community. I am asking you to help us survive. Edgewater needs more workers or we will collapse. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide to be fair, that. I'm not sure if the deserters will actually survive if the Edgewater is, like, um, like, turned off, you know? Like, are they, like, looting from here? You know what I mean? Like, if the company decides to take away the, the town of Edgewater itself, which, what does that mean? I hope that means that they're gonna come retrieve everybody and take them to a new home, but I doubt that. I think they're just gonna abandon them here and let them die. Ugh, yeah, I'm awake, any promises? Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting yeah. up for the veil? Because I know my way around. I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Bye. Whoa, you've gained a companion. They are characters that join you on your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support, their skills enhance your skills, they increase your carrying capacity, you can unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration skill. Cool. Anything I can yoink or read. What does this mean? Some people require completing another quest. Oh, wait, what? 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 Also, how do I get out? Oh. Aloy? Yo, what's up? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Before we talk. She is Aloy! Oh my gosh! Hey, ma'am. Can we talk? Ma'am, I'm a ma'am. Sorry. I'm a ma'am. I'm a ma'am. Got a sec? I'm a ma'am. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tell me. No, please, like please. Me. No, please. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Uh, if I wanted to deal with nuance, I wouldn't be this heavily armed. Let's move. <laughs> Figures, Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Uh, I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest... Oh, amen, about. girl. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. 
I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Oh, okay. Uh... I met the vicar. He asked me to find a book for him. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. What do we want to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. You're good, girl. You're good. Thank you. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't hurt. Let's stop. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. I mean, it's a... That's what my dad used to say anyway. It's a bad decision. It's a bad decision all around. Oh, oh, now there's workers in here. Okay, okay, okay. How do we get out of here? All right. Vicar. Vicar guy. Vicar, 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 vicar. I don't remember where he... Also, I need to talk to people. Um. Oh, that's a workbench. Oh my gosh, tell me where the freaking... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now I just gotta run around town. She's purdy, she is purdy. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I also have to, before I do anything... A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. At least you got your health. Um... Barbershop. I have to do my other quests as well. Another day at the cannery. Before I forget. Is the... Is it over here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. 